So the jam track that I'm playing over is simply going from G to C. And I'm playing arpeggios. The idea of an arpeggio is just it's a broken chord, okay? And so the chord of G has three notes, G, B, and D. And the chord of C has three notes, C, E, and G. Uh, and in this instance, I'm playing B, D, and G for my G arpeggio. And then I'm playing C, E, and G okay, for the C major arpeggio. And then I simply move here, and then I'm playing uh, this note, which is D. Okay, and then I have G, and then I have B. Okay, and I move to E, G, and C. Okay, and then I move to the G arpeggio here of G, B, and D. And then the C major arpeggio of... Um, my brain fell out. Also G, but C and E here, okay? And then I just finished with the same group that I had down here, but up here it's an octave higher, okay? So that's what I was playing. basically how they work. And you can learn others and combine them with other chords. And I usually use them uh, in the midst of playing whatever kind of a line I want to play so I can outline the chord. So I can play. Okay, so you can hear it move from G into C and back again. But I have some other notes that make it a little more interesting. So have fun with that.